you understand by direct experience. You understand by letting go of this hindrance as pleasurable as it might be. It's still a hindrance and it still causes tension and tightness to arise. So the more we let go of trying to analyze and figure out why this is working this way and start delving into your past and these kind of things to try to bring up examples, all of this is wasted time. You're not meditating at that time. The only time you're meditating is when you recognize that and don't continue, but let it go. Even if you're in mid-sentence, doesn't matter. Relax. Come back to your object to meditation. Try to see with more interest how your mind gets pulled away so you can recognize it more quickly and let go of it more easily. That is the only way to dig out the roots and the cause of the suffering. Everything else, it might be real exciting, it might be real fun, it doesn't lead to true freedom. Open up and let it go. Relax. Come back to your object of meditation. I wish I had a nickel for every time I said that. <laughs> I'd be a wealthy monk. It's too simple. Do you remember I read that thing yesterday where the universe works on simplicity? So we have to get down to our basics, the base of the practice. And that is as much fun as it is to think. There's pain in thinking. Let it go. Relax. That doesn't mean occasionally there won't be a thought that's an insight. But it happens one time, and then it's gone. Unless you attach onto it, so, oh, I got to think about this one now. It doesn't work. We have to let it go. That's where the true freedom is. That's where the cessation of suffering is. That's where Nibbana is. Let go of all the conditions. Let go of all the little tiny desires and the likes and the wants. Let go of even your aspiration, I want to be able to get to this or that jhana by the end of the retreat. All of those things are just more hindrances. It's more grist for the mill. The only way we can really progress with the practice is by letting go, opening up to deeper and deeper levels. Letting go of the slightest little tensions in your shoulders, in your back, in your head. But not spend your whole time doing that. Just one time, come back to your object of meditation. Over a period of time, all of these tensions and tightnesses will go away. And then there's only pure mind. There's only the pure observing mind. Even the state of neither perception nor non-perception you can be attached to because it is a pleasurable state. All of these states of jhana are pleasurable. But the more you like them and the more you want them, the less progress you're going to make in your meditation. That turns into a big mountain that you have to go over. Or actually you have to start taking away shovelful by shovelful until it's flat. So the more we can allow without getting involved in any way, the more open mind becomes, the clearer mind becomes, the more alert your attention is. It's the continual opening and letting go, allowing. That's your home base. Always coming back to your meditation object. Strong interest on your meditation. Not attached to it, but just 
real strong interest in how everything arises, how it's there, how it disappears, how it's always changing, how it's not yours. It's just there because conditions are right for it to be there. And you'll see how fast those conditions change when you start to analyze, when you start to think about. This practice is about continually opening beyond anything you've ever opened before, little by little. And you'll see your mind goes deeper every time you open and relax and let go and come back to your meditation. You will experience Nibbana many, many times. The mundane Nibbana until finally your mind gets the idea and it does it automatically and it happens to be super mundane. Can that happen in this lifetime? Yes. Can that happen in this retreat? Yes. Can you make it happen? No way. But you can continually keep opening and softening opening and allowing. You can keep letting all of your little likes and dislikes be and relaxing into that, coming back to your meditation. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs>